Hi, my name is Wendy Anderson, and I am a professor and the department chair in the Department of Environmental Science and Studies, and I have been teaching at Stetson just since last summer. I arrived in June for department chair duties and then, um, and then started teaching in the fall semester. Really, I think it was Stetson's um, very clear commitment to growing their environmental science and studies department and to launching an institute for the environment that really convinced me that they are very serious about their environmental programs here. The main thing that I've done and will continue to do as I work here is, um, is looking at what I, what I would call ecosystem level processes, looking at how nutrients and other materials move through the landscape um, and have impacts on plant and animal communities as they do. So um, an example from research a long time ago is looking at how seabirds, so pelicans and gulls and terns and things like that that eat fish in the ocean but then come back to land to nest and roost, they actually bring those digested fish back with them as bird guano and deposit it in and around their nests and their roosting sites and in that way transfer all these marine nutrients to land where they can then serve as fertilizers for plant communities and all the animals that are associated with those plants. So, um, so anyway, for many, many years I've worked on these islands inhabited by seabirds. And so, just to be clear, I'm not a bird biologist. I don't actually study the birds. I study the plants and animals that live on the islands that the birds affect. So, um, so anyway, I've, I've worked on that for years and years. I've published a lot on that. I've, I'm a co-author on a book about that, because this happens in thousands of islands all over the world. This year, we're actually being contracted. I have a research grant that, um, that basically contracts me with the Bureau of Land Management. It's one of the US federal agencies that manages some of the land in the West. The BLM is giving us money to actually go out and do some really fine-grained surveys of the plant and animal communities on these parcels of land that they have had in a very high conservation status for about 20 years, 19 years actually to be exact, um, areas of critical environmental concern. And, and they're very, they have very limited access. Um, people can't camp or mountain bike or horseback ride on these lands. Um, you can hike in, you can hike out, but it's one of those, you know, only leave footprints, only take pictures kind of places. That conservation status is expiring next year. And um, the people on those islands who have kind of a stake in how those parcels are managed um, basically ask the BLM to hire somebody to come in and find out you know what are the biological resources in those parcels are there still endangered species there are there um, animals that have really sensitive nesting habitats there so we're going to go in and do those surveys find out what's there find out if we need to maintain this high level of protection for these sites and then the BLM can take that information and make their own decisions about how to protect and manage those parcels. So I'm taking four students, um, all of whom are environmental science or studies majors, but a freshman and three juniors. So, um, so hopefully, you know, they can all learn from each other. They can they can learn the system, and um, and it and it will be fun. It's a beautiful place to work. It's going to be hard work, but it will be fun. I just find the biggest thrill working with students who are that self-motivated and that um, passionate to want to learn and to guide their own learning. And I just go along for the ride.